Just to follow up on something you said on court last time, which we couldn't hear because we were down here, yeah. when you said the last few months, you're, what were, were you really referring to you thinking of stopping in a few months? Or can you elaborate a little bit on what you meant? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm likely not going to play past the summer. Um, you know, I get asked about it after every single match that I play, every single tournament that I play. Um, um, it's a bit, I'm, I'm bored of the question, um, to, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not going to talk more about that um, between now and whenever the, the time comes for me to stop. But yeah, I don't plan on playing much past this summer. How important it is to have your family or your dad that is on the crowd in Dubai. How crucial is it for you to have them on tour with you and the support that they give you? Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, it's, it's been really important for me. I've, I've always been very lucky because my brother is, um, you know, on, on the tour. So I hope he's always had sort of well, had a family presence with me for most of my career. And then obviously my mum has, you know, an involvement in, in the sport, which, you know, takes her to some tournaments um, that we're at anyway. And also she chooses to come and you know, travel with us certainly more um, in the last few years. Um, you know, she, she's come along to, to support. And yeah, I think it helps. I think all of the players would say the same thing. Um, you know, tennis can be quite quite a lonely sport um, at times. So the support of your, your team, um, you know, that you have around you is extremely important and, you know, when your family are able to travel or come come along and watch it, you know, it does help. Uh, I know Olympics is uh, very important to you, so uh, what is your goal in the Olympics? Is it just to represent your country or is there some uh, goals and medal uh, you want to achieve? And uh, if you were to favor either Wimbledon or the Olympics, which would you choose? Um, look, I mean, in tennis, I mean, Wimbledon's not, not by everyone, but a lot of people is considered to be the biggest biggest tournament um, in the sport. And being being British, uh, you know, Wimbledon is obviously an extremely special tournament. Um, so I mean, I would have to probably say say Wimbledon, but you know, the Olympics. I just I'd love being part of that. It's been yeah some of the best experiences of my my whole career being part of the British team and. You know, when I got to carry the flag out in, in Rio, was, yeah, it was an amazing, amazing moment. Um, you know, I, I love sport, so to get the chance to do that uh, for your country was, was really special. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, I don't know if both of them are special. I wouldn't want to necessarily pick one or put one of the others down. Um, I love, I've loved my experiences in, in both. Andy, since you said you won't be playing, uh, probably playing past the summer, do you foresee playing Roland Garros maybe for last time this year? Uh, probably, yeah. Um, you know, last few years I've tried to give myself maybe better preparation for the grass season, um, but that also doesn't necessarily doesn't guarantee that you're going to <laughs> going to play really well on the grass. I've had experiences through my career where. You know, I didn't play the French Open in 2013 and I won Wimbledon, but um, I also played the French Open and did really well in 2016. And it, I don't think it makes a huge difference if you get an extra week's practice or so on, on the grass. Um, so yeah, I would like to play, play one more time. Now.